What's up guys, this is Will and I'm back with another video. And today I'm taking a look at the Essential phone after using this phone for one week. Uh, just wanna go over what I, what I think about it after using it for that time and let you know if I think this is still a great, great buy. So let's start off by talking about, uh, just telling you that this, this phone is a little beast, man. I really like this phone, I just bought the Note 8 and I call that the beast, so I'm going to call this phone the little beast right here. Uh, this is a great phone. I do recommend still buying this phone, especially with the prices continually to drop on it. Uh, I would definitely pick it up. But uh, this this phone is small. You can reach everything uh, very easily. The screen is beautiful, as you can see right there. I guess my light's picking it up, but with that black background, this this stuff just looks like it's sitting above the glass, not not below the glass. It just looks like it's laid on top of that. So it has a beautiful, beautiful strain. Uh, it's fast, fluent. I do get my occasional freeze on it. And I thought when I said my three-day review, uh, that, that video, I thought it was certain apps. But uh, I can be within anything and I'll get an occasional freeze. Now, I was uh, looking at Tony, uh, Tony Pazzo's uh, uh, video the other day. He had a live stream, and we kind of talked uh, back and forth about that. And he said he noticed that when he took his SIM card out. So here lately, I've been, you know, I got so many phones around. My SIM card hasn't been in this one, but I'm going to try it and see uh, with the SIM card back in there if that makes a difference. But uh, other than the occasional freeze, everything opens up quick. Uh, did a app open comparison with this phone and several other phones, uh, especially I did one recently with the uh, Note 8, and they both have pretty close to the same uh, internals as far as uh, the Snapdra Snapdragon 835 processor and four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, RAM. And this one, this one held pretty held up pretty good with with the Note. So uh, it's a powerful little phone at the same time. Uh, they, like I said, they're bringing the prices down even more now so it, it's definitely going to be a great pickup and they ha seem to be pushing out updates for it as well uh with the cameras on here uh the, the cameras in my opinion still need work uh pretty good cameras but uh and video but I, I think it still could use some some more work uh to be done on it uh still getting great battery life five to six hours uh of uh on strain on time no easily easily now that that all will depend on the individual and how much you use it but you're a phone but for me moderate to heavy user i'm getting five to six hours battery life and the thing charges really fast so uh the speaker still sounds good no problem with the speaker uh just in an awkward place it can cover it up sometimes but this speaker gets loud on this phone man uh not not the best sounding, but it, it does uh, does have some great sound on it. Uh, the OS is just just about bare stock Android. Uh, I like it to a certain extent, but then again, I like to, to uh, my phones to have a little bit more uh, bells and whistles per se. But this one is great. Uh, some people like this. Uh, I like it to a certain extent, like I said. Here's my storage right here. Use, so far, I've used uh, 25.68 gigabytes out of the 116. So uh, no external. You can't uh, add a SIM, I mean, a, a micro SD card to this phone. So uh, that's one kickback if you're looking for a phone where you can put put your micro SD card in it. But this one's not going to be it. But 128 that's good for most people, you know. So here's the, the menu, as you can see, pretty much bare bone stock Android. Uh, just a few things added to it. Uh, this screen, like I said, is a beautiful screen, uh, really gorgeous. And let's talk about the fingerprint sensor. Uh, this thing still works, no problems out of it. Uh, it works every time, I mean, if you're looking for something super fast, then that's not going to be it, but this is it. 
uh, it works works great every time. Now the notch up there, I talked about that a little bit uh, in my last video, but as you can see right here, as we're in this Google uh, page or whatever they call this right here, as you can see, as it's going up towards the top, that's when I notice it getting coming into play a little bit. But most time you've already read whatever you want to read before it gets up to that area. Uh, but it's not distracting it at all to me on it at all. Uh, still making great phone calls. Uh, haven't had any drop calls. Uh, just crystal clear calls, man. Uh, just an overall great device. No case on it. Uh, no string protector. Uh, this uh, ceramic back is holding up well. But as you can see, it's, a, it's definitely a uh, finger, fingerprint <laughs> magnet. Uh, the titanium around the edges still looks great. No scratches. This thing just been going in my pocket with no keys or anything like that. But, uh, man, I'm still still very happy with the purchase of this. Uh, definitely would recommend it. That's just my look at it after using it for one week. I uh, may have missed a lot of uh, things that I needed to talk about on it. Uh, Wi-Fi connectivity is great. Uh, I've used it with Bluetooth. Uh, uh, earphones sound great. Uh, so, uh, the front facing camera, like I said, I talked about the cameras. They still, uh, still need some work, but they're passable for the average consumer out there. Uh, other than that, like I said, the apps open up great. Everything works fine, man. Uh, get into games. Uh, the, the phone doesn't heat up at all, uh, as far as, as far as my use with it. And uh, just a great buy, man. That's my look at the Essential Phone PH1 after one week of use. Uh, the next review on this will probably come in a, in a month, after a month's use or something like that. Maybe maybe a couple, two, three, three weeks. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you all in the next video.